I always wanted to be a scientist. I used to annoy my family with science facts from the age of seven. Um, so I wanted to be a zoologist uh, since I can remember. I was sitting in a garden and I was watching some flies, noticing how they oriented themselves on a leaf. And I just thought, isn't it amazing that there's cells floating around my body that are more intelligent than I am? And I wondered, how do they know what to do? How is their behavior encoded in their genes? And over 40 years later, that's still what I'm doing. So what does life sciences mean to me? Well, I got interested in science as a young girl when my mother was suffered with MS. Uh, life sciences means to me uh, the study of the most complex thing in the universe, which is life. Um, my, my view of life sciences is that it's uh, the quest for an understanding of the molecular mechanisms that enable life. What I love about life sciences is that because it is so complex, there's always more to discover. I like the fact that you have something that you don't know how it works and you can go and try to put the pieces together. When you discover one of these processes or when you're one of the first people or the first person to discover a it, it's an amazing feeling. So what I love about life sciences is that it is global and it's universal and it's as important here as it is the other side of the world. Uh, so the impact life sciences have on the wider world, I, don't, I could talk for days I guess. It would be impossible to overestimate the impact of life sciences on humanity. Life sciences has been part of the greatest revolution in human thinking since Copernicus. Understanding nature of life sciences is fundamental to developing new technologies that can drive the economy, food uh, sustainability. It's explained how life came to be and has given us the power, even now, to be on the verge of creating new forms of life with new forms of genetics. If you think of anything you're using day to day, there's going to be something that life science has been involved into. What's the future for life sciences? Well, it partly depends on what we do, what you do, what I do, in terms of changing the way that we are altering the planet. Because if we're not careful, there will be no future, not only for life sciences, but for other forms of human culture as well. The distant future of life science research can involve things like personal medicine, where we're not just treating a general disease, but how that disease is affecting you. I think in biomedical research, major advances need to be made in treatment of disease. Stroke is the second biggest killer worldwide, leading cause of disability, and yet there are no drugs to treat it. Our antibacterial resistance is becoming a major problem. Really, it's just impossible to know where it's going to go, but I'm really excited to be a part of it.